So we've stopped by Evans Cooling here at SEMA 2010 to have a chat with Steve Presley about waterless cooling, mate. This is uh, actually, call me ignorant, but it's the first time I've heard of it. Okay. Well, basically what we've been doing over the last number of years is developing a waterless coolant to work in high-performance race engines, originally developed it uh, building um, high output ranges for Chevrolet and it has a much higher boiling point so we're able to tolerate much higher compression ratios and much higher horsepower levels. Tell us a little bit about the history of the company because you've been around for a while now. Yeah, we actually, I joined Jack Evans in the late 80s and we were working for a Corvette group at Chevrolet developing not only the waterless systems but reverse flow cooling systems and then in the years since then we've developed a, a several other waterless coolants pumps, radiators, and pulleys to all coordinate and go with it. Because basically what we're looking at as a system, all of the components have to be working together. What are some of the benefits of using waterless cooling versus traditional cooling? Well, besides the fact that once you get rid of the water, you get rid of all the, the rust, the corrosion, scale, and electrolysis in the high performance side of things, the boiling point of water is 210, with a pressure cap is only 260. Our boiling point is 375 to 400 degrees. So in racing applications, we're actually able to go to elevated temperatures, 240, 250, and run like those temperatures all day long, where with a water-based system, that would be a failure point. All right, one other product that you have on display for this year's SEMA is the high-performance water pump. Yeah, we do a lot of high flow coolant pumps because now that we don't have the pump cavitation problems of a water system, we can actually have a high flow system and benefit from the fact that the more coolant we can pump through the engine, the more heat we can bring to the radiator to dissipate. So what we've done is developed a line of high flow coolant pumps to be able to increase the flow to accommodate higher horsepower levels. What range of applications do you have for those? Well, we started out with everything from the old small box Chevrolets and Fords, we do the Pontiacs, but the latest hot thing now are all these uh, LS1s, 2s, 3s, 7s, and that kind of thing. Well, it's really interesting stuff, and it's a fantastic product. If you want to check it out and find out more about it, check out evanscooling.com.